Hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. We're, we're back. back. We went we, and ate. You had food. I ate a salad with steak and french fries on top of it. And I had brisket. I had pulled pork sandwiches and mac and cheese. Merka. So the, the good news is, is this is going to be our chance to not have life conversations in the middle of the episode. Yeah. Because I'm here now. Yeah. That was funny. At least I thought it was. Yeah, Aaron's roommates probably think I'm uh, kind of weird. That's okay. Can I literally you, can broke in. Yeah, can I you tell the whole little... story because <laughs> I want I want people to appreciate what type of friendship we've cultivated. So, <laughs> Aaron lives in an apartment uh, complex, With two and roommates. he's got he's got two roommates, one being a male and one being a female, and uh, I went to the apartment complex thinking that. That's where we were recording today, but we weren't, obviously. So, I went to the door. Door was locked. Neighbor let me in. Walked up the stairs, through the door that probably should be locked, Aaron. Oh, we don't (laughs) lock our door when we're there. And um, proceeded to go to Aaron's room. (laughs) Nobody was there. So I thought, hey... These assholes are hiding on me. (laughs) So I went and rummaged through his closet for about five minutes. And then looked under his clothes and under his bed. In his cupboard. Oh, yeah, that's right. (laughs) Oh, oh, you checked the the cabinet? No no sign of Aaron. So I turned to his roommate, who was thoroughly interested as to why this strange man is digging through their house, and said, Is Aaron here? To which he replies, no, I think he went to Josiah's. <laughs> and that's when I knew I fucked up. But I just I just like that Hayden's first response into walking to my apartment and me not immediately being there and him walking into my room and not being there isn't, oh, Aaron's not here. It's, oh, Aaron's hiding from me. <laughs> I just I'm like su- that that is the friendship we've cultivated. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hide today. You didn't pull a little closet errand today and yeah. go into the hallway closet like oh, you yeah. usually do. I do it every yeah. fucking time I'm here. Yeah. It's kind of like the pretend you're asleep thing. Yes. Yeah, anytime I ever go over to Hayden's house, I walk like he's like, come on over, and then I walk into his house, say hi to his parents who are usually sitting in the living room watching TV. I walk down the basement steps and Hayden and his little brother, shout out to Devin, what's up Devin? Are always, they're always there and awake, but they pretend they're asleep. <laughs> every single time. We get him every time. And I know that they're awake. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't know. And then, and then sometimes, like after I've been there for a few hours, their dad will come down to like say goodnight and like give him the scoop on what's going on with the dogs and everything. And then we'll all pretend to be asleep, and I'm always the one to ruin it because yeah. I break and yeah, I laugh. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Oh, Josiah is an amateur at it. I'm terrible He's at it. Terribly okay. unpracticed. Um, because he, <laughs> the last time I was there, he was like at the bottom of the stairs and looking at me, and then I like tilted my head back <laughs> and shut my eyes with like a with, like a wide grin on my face, so it didn't work at all. <laughs> and he just he walks up and he goes, "It doesn't work like that, Josiah." <laughs> I was just like, "That's when I just like had to." Open meanwhile, my eyes and laugh. meanwhile, our listeners right. are bored out of their spells. We got everything. All right. Good thing Aaron's good at games. <sighs> this one, <sighs> which I've fucked up a lot. Oh no! It's zero. Before he dies. Did he come back to life? Yeah. yeah. In this game? No. That sucks. In the sequels, he's like back. The only Spoilers. thing. The only thing that makes me like. <laughs> My only problem with the Mega Man series is, like, Zero never meets base, because they're two different series, which I get, but at the same time, I think it'd be really cool for Zero to meet, like, Proto Man and base, and... Yeah. I just think that'd be kind of cool, as if the... all the Mega Mans were together. Yeah. Like, we came together for, like, the Dream Team. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, like... uh, a super group. I love I love Mega Man. I really do. Shit's but it's jam. it's it saddens me. Yeah. 
And like, oh fuck. Yeah, fucking clown motherfuckers. Um, makes me sad that the. Oh god. What ended up happening with like the Mega Man series in general? Yeah. Yeah, and then Mighty Number no. Nine came out and was. Fuck. Wow, fuck Aaron, I thought you were good. I didn't realize I was Mistaken. sitting here with amateur Aaron. Yep. Yeah, we were actually before you before you arrived. Me and Aaron were talking a little bit. You mean when I was it. at Aaron's house? Yes. Yeah, when you were at my. Party. Actually, when, I think it was when you were en route to Aaron's house, and we thought you were en route to here. Oh, that's so embarrassing for me. It you it uh, I don't think it should be. There was it was just bad. a simple miscommunication. Yeah, um, it would be a lot less embarrassing if it wasn't. Oh, Aaron yeah. lives far away. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, if it was like I live right next to Not like, like obnoxiously cares? far, like four hours, but it's it's the better part of an hour. Huh. Yeah, I mean. Um, anyway, what I was saying about Mega Man is like, so in the story of Zero is that like he keeps dying and then being revived, and then in the latest Zero series, at the end of everything, he just perma-dies. And then that's when every, that's when like the shit hit the fan for like Capcom and like the company and like KG Nafune like getting his ass handed to him by the company and like yeah. just the legacy just being not continued onward and so like it was like there wasn't any real indication that Zero would come back but when he had his own series it was super fun because like it was like Mega Man Zero in his own standalone game series for the Game Boy Advance and then yeah at the end of everything he's just blown up or something like that I can't remember exactly what happens but they like, I don't know. You're just hoping. Like it's just enough to make you hope yeah. that he'll come back. But then, dude, I swear that there's some way to. I swear I've done it in this game, where you can actually win this fight. Well, like I've talked to people and like I've looked up stuff online where it's like, no, you can't win this fight against Vile's like super suit, and yeah. Zero does have to die. But like, Spoiler. I swear I've done it. Where I actually destroyed his suit and Zero survives and what he does is he shows up later and he kills Sigma's dog for you so you don't have to fight Sigma's dog. No, nobody's not going to know what the story is. Oh, dude, we've been fast forwarding through the whole story the whole time. But I'm it's not okay. even... It's okay. Like, I'm not even going to Wiki- try. Wikipedia. I don't feel like spending the time... Yeah. To try. Looks so much like Boba Fett. I mean, he's completely supposed to. I right, just fucking hit me with the thing already. Um, oh, you've been zapped. I like this where you can just color change. This is the one I want to do. Oh, this part's awesome. I just imagine he's just like shoving his hand down like Vile's ass. Just <laughs> why's it gotta be his ass? Yeah, man. Why's it gotta be his ass? Because he's behind him. I was thinking more that he was like ripping out his spinal cord. Oh. Yeah, I like that more. Now, fist up the ass. Gun, gun hand up the ass. No. So this is the this is the fight you can actually win, right? Yeah. You can't beat a Mandalorian. Especially with that, that crazy purple armor. You gotta be Mace Windu. And chop off his head. Oh yeah. Fuck you. Get rocketed. Oh man, so yeah. Basically. Oh yeah. Okay. So you remember earlier, Aaron, how we were talking, how I was saying that I'm worried for the sake of any game that's crowdfunded. Yeah. Okay. Well, in retrospect, Shovel Knight, its origins were it was crowdfunded, yeah. but now they have like a company to stand on, and they're going to be developing more games, and the expansions to Shovel Knight look amazing, because you get to play as uh, Specter Knight, who is the one with the scythe. What is even the point of that? What? <laughs> that entire sequence there. What I did? Like, people, people usually can't do that. Oh. 
Well, yeah, you have to charge up that ability to go invincible, and it's it's just a way to like avoid gotcha. annoying shit. Yeah, gotcha. because like, that always like just kind of annoying if you don't do that. Yeah, normally he he would have to fight that. Yeah. Oh, or I'd have to dodge all those lasers. Or that. Sh- fuck you. Um, what was I gonna say? What was saying? Oh yeah, okay. So Throw your shovel- beach balls at him. Shovel Knight was crowdfunded. Um, Mighty Number no. Nine was crowdfunded, and that's the one that left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. And then. There's a game coming out that it's it, almost the exact same. Wait, did I see the wrong person earlier? For is it KG Inafune who was who created Comcept? Tangent. Anyway, I have no idea. whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, the guy who created the Castlevania games like Symphony of the Night and Aria of Sorrow and all those cool ones. It's Area of Sorrow. This. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's Area. They and like. Harmony of Dissonance. He he created all of those games, and he was like the lead like art director for it, I think, or something like that. Same exact scenario. Konami mm-hmm. fucked him. He left, and now he's using crowdfunding to make a spiritual successor. Mm-hmm. And so far, it looks good. Like it looks better than how Mighty Number no. Nine looked in 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 its infancy. But I'm still a little bit like jaded from how Mighty Number no. 9 turned out. So it's like ah, like, I don't know. I'm so indifferent about it because I really really, really hope that it's good. But what is hope? You know, like like, what is that going to There never do? was much hope. It's deep, bro. Just a fool's hope. Oh, Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf the White! R.I.P. Only sort of. Yeah, only only for a bit. Oh, the fucking spider boss. Oh, fuck this guy. Um, you always say that, and then you do relatively well. I hate this boss. He's the only boss in this entire game that doesn't have a consistent pattern. Well, he what does. about the dog? Oh, yeah, that's right. No, the dog's the one that doesn't. I hate... The spider's just hard. Like, his, he has a pattern, but it's like... Like, he can do that, like... He just decides what his pattern is. I hate the minions thing. I hate that. I hate when the bosses make the little minions, and it's just yeah, a pain in the ass. Yeah, Aaron, you would definitely like. Sh- you would definitely like Shovel Knight. Yeah. Shovel Knight is fun. It's a hoot and a half. It is. Like follows. No, I, you know what? I give it. I give it a. I give it a. Give it two full hoots. hoots. Maybe in a holler, a goof, and a gaff. Oh, sh- shout out! Shout out to H three H three, uh, sponsor of this channel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. I wish. Yeah, that'd be really neat. Yo, okay. Ethan, Ela, if you see this, what's up? Love you. Please give us a love and Ethan. We appreciate, we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Ethan. Great moves. Great. Keep it up. Proud of you. Because no, because none of his other fans ever say that ever, and they also never say "Papa bless." I'm sure he's so sick of hearing it. Anyway, oh, I wouldn't be. That's true, but that's just because you're you're different, Aaron. You're a special type. Like if people were just yeah. like they, when they oh, when you were you broke the mold, man. Yeah. Either that or the mold. But if mold people broke like you. if my catchphrase <laughs> became, I don't know, something along the line, something stupid like bad jokes. Like, yeah. If if the thing became to just tweet Aaron with bad jokes, yeah. like I'd I'd fucking love it. Good, Aaron Good. with the bad jokes. Because you have terrible jokes. Yep. Good. I used to have chicken. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even near twenty minutes. Have more bad jokes. We're already sick of you. Whatever, dude. We're almost at the end this of the game. This is it. Now. This is where the questies break up. This is the end of us. Dude, we already did that joke. Oh shit, we already did yeah. that. My bad. Bad jokes by Josiah! Oh, that's me. Aw, oh, jeepers. Oh, good. Good. So yeah, I don't remember what the new game that's coming out by the guy who made the old Castlevania games is called. Looks really cool so far, and I hope it does well. And Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Almost, almost got a little too big for your britches just, there. My heart skipped a beat. And then had, and then it did a drum fill after that to make up for it. That's that's another thing in side scroller games that annoy me is the bad bad guys. Yeah. Or really any game, any game where there's like a flying enemy. Yep. Like 
I used to I used to get so annoyed by the racks in Borderlands. Yeah. Not because they're even really threatening or anything. Like I never got they're just killed. annoying. Yeah, I never got killed by a rack, but it's like ugh, I have to do something about oh, you. Oh, I've been yeah. killed by racks before. I I never got killed by a rack. You know, knock well, on wood. Yeah. Well, I've been killed. There's by, no like, wood in here. Right here. Ones. Oh. <laughs> oh. Where's the flamethrower? Hayden oh, just knocked on my penis. He did it. Um. But yeah, oh, they're just do. they're it's just one of those things where it's like I have to deal with you because then you will kill me. Right. But at the same time you're not annoying enough for me to really want to deal with. And because you're flying, you're slightly harder to kill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I am wasting ammo. Does he ever use ice moves? Plus yeah. plus I always like not because I'm burning him. I so always it, liked it being the him. I always liked being the sniper. And to kill Rax with the sniper rifle. I mean, there's probably yeah. people out there that are like, oh, See, he shoots ice balls. You're an amateur. He, make, yeah. he makes the ice sculptures. But killing a Rack with a sniper rifle is a lot harder than pretty much any other gun. Yeah. Oh, you little bitch. Except maybe, like, well, no, even the rocket launcher's a bit easier, if you ask me. Depends on, yeah. Yeah, just because it just goes a little slower and you can kind of lead it. Um, but yeah, racks are just like, and they're that thing too where you see one and you're like, oh, look, a rack, and then it's the only one in the area, and you're just like, I'm just gonna shoot it just for fun, and then you shoot it, and then like 15 come out of nowhere. Yeah. And you're like, okay. And then they just start being like, Aah! at you, and you're like, I just wanted to kill the one. Like, yeah. This is, I feel like I'm getting the whole, like, Kuko from Zelda treatment here, where I attack one of you, and then the rest of you had to team up on me. Yep. <sighs> Video game tropes, man. Video game tropes. Yeah. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Yep. Fuck. Shit. Don't even get me started on ice levels. <laughs> yeah, ice levels. And fucking underwater levels. Thanks, Mario. Thanks for that. This yeah. one's not that bad, actually. No, the ice level in this one's fine. The ice level in this one's fine, and the underwater level in this one's fine. Fuck you, dude. Get off my junk, bro. Yeah, they're... they're... You really can do that. Or, or it's just you know, same. it's it, like it's nice to break up the monotony and stuff, but at the same time, there's... Yeah. It's not really breaking up the monotony if you're using a um, trope that's used consistently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're not breaking up the monotony if you're using the same thing that every other side scroller uses. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sometimes no! hard, it's hard to avoid that. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't really... Fuck you! Good save. Bad, bad, bad news. You're gonna die. Fucking die. You're Everything die. just die. Fuck off! Why didn't you... Fuck! Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> You got, you got spoinked. I was just like, you know what, I was trying to just <coughs> fuck it, run through it, but, you know what? Nah. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah! Tell you what I do like, though, I like the, I like in, in any game or media, TV show, whatever, I like when there's... A character that's introduced, and he seems like a dick, and then he ends up, you find out more about him, and there's a reason he's a dick, and then he develops as a character, and he joins the good guys, but then something happens where the bad guys get a hold of him. Basically, Green Ranger from Power yeah. Rangers. Like, basically that exact scenario. Like, that's so awesome. I love it, because it's yeah. just like, it, it takes you, it's or like... Vegeta. Yeah, or Vegeta. Vegeta, okay. Like, I think if I were to go back and watch Dragon Ball Z now, I wouldn't have the patience. Yeah. But I know that there were some times that that show was, like, solid as far as, like, you know, like, an emotional impact that it had on me. It's just, it just, mm, their pacing was so weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't have time to muddle through that anymore, you know? Well, the thing with Dragon Ball Z is it's got the... Every season ends the same way. <laughs> yeah. Kamehameha wave or soul bomb or whatever. Yeah. Until, yeah, it, well, it starts with, like, the giant Kamehameha, then it goes to the soul bomb, then you got Super Saiyan, and then you got Super Saiyan level 2, and then you got Super Saiyan level 3. Yeah. I don't know, it's gotta be quicker. There we go. 
I mean, it's cool to make Goku stronger, like progressively make him stronger and introduce these new abilities, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of obnoxious when that's all, it, like, yeah, that you know that's how it's going to be. Right. That's how he's going to win. And I mean, yeah, the Cell Saga did, you know. Switch it up. They switched it up by making it Gohan, but he still went Super Saiyan level 2. Right. And what the hell was with Gohan going from the world's coolest badass to yeah, being like he's, a... he's the hope of the future, and he's going to be the best fighter ever born, ever. And then, and then he, he just, just goes to college. And then he just starts... He doesn't look anything like how he used to look. And then he his entire character is like... Weird, stupid... Yeah. Dad jokes. I don't even know how better to describe it. It's just like... And when it becomes Saiyan Man, it's just like I was waiting yeah. for it to end, and I was waiting for him to become cool again, and then it didn't really ever happen. Yeah, exactly. Ever. Yeah, because up to that point, he was like my favorite character. Yeah. And then he became irrelevant. Gohan know? and Trunks. And Caleb, you bye.